Josh McDaniels was the successor to John Gruden as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. He looked me in the eye and he said, there's one thing. It was a fumble. <laughs> His career was always mired in controversy, from illegally spying on teams to backstabbing players and making their wives cry. He didn't know how to talk to men. He didn't know how to be around men. He's an insecure little man. In 2009, it was my, when I got drafted, I remember meeting with him. And he was so arrogant, right? And I'm like, why is this guy so arrogant? Because the opposite of it is Josh McDaniels. You have everything, but you don't have leadership. And now you're sitting on a 30 and 20 something record and you can't lead men. McDaniels claimed to have grown since his early attempt at head coaching with the Denver Broncos in 2009. But his second AFC West experiment with the Raiders was somehow more of a disaster. From coldly scapegoating and cutting nine year franchise quarterback Derek Carr to setting the worst Worst records in franchise history and being accused of drug abuse by an old friend from New England. That coke boy. Coke boy, baby. <laughs> McDaniels. McDaniels be doing coke. We have seen multiple star players shipped out for little to no value like Waller and Gar, or underutilized like Hunter Renfro and Devontae Adams, dropping them to the lowest lows of their careers. For a moment, there was delusional hope. Some Raiders fans defended every move by Genius Josh, including a plot to scapegoat and dump Carr for Tom Brady. Apart from his struggles as a head coach, he's not the most relatable guy. Favorite food? Um, I'm gonna say Boston Scrod. It's a fish you don't have a lot of places. And he's kind of an asshole. I have no anxiety. Right, okay, there you go. You guys might have anxiety. <laughs> yes, sir. So is there I don't have any anxiety. What? I'm not. Two times? Yeah. In the aftermath of some of the most humiliating losses, and not just Raiders, but NFL history, McDaniels refused to give pep talks. I don't think there's any uh, big speech to give. If you need a big pep talk or a big speech or anything like that, that you know, that's always a potential issue. Instead, sounding like a clueless Mr. Miyagi. You are what you what you do. We're not the only team that that loses games. You can't you can't really win until you stop from losing. Such is life in that regard. Football's a mysterious game sometimes. We have to be able to produce more points in order to win games in this league. No one has ever fully exposed every single heinous act and serious allegation of Josh McDaniels and the Raiders post Gruden era until now. He left a trail of heartache, lies, and failure in his wake. These are the awful allegations against Josh McDaniels.